just really super quick, I was actually um, just thinking about this for a while. And, you know, I've been getting into crystals. And I've been thinking to myself, um, we're pulling these things out of the earth. And I've had a, a premonition a while ago when they were pulling all the oil out of, you know, the earth. And then they were having all these um, leaks in the ocean, you know, where crude oil was coming out and then it was killing the plant life and stuff like that. I felt like the oil is a barrier and that's what kind of controls um, temperature and part of the uh, climate change that we're having is because we're pulling the oil out of the ocean. So think about it, if Earth's core is boiling hot, it's magma, it's lava, and then the ocean's kind of pretty cold and look, the deeper you go, the colder it is. And you have oil, which actually works as like a barrier. Um, but I believe the oil is kind of masking that hot lava magma um, and not allowing it to warm up the ocean water. But if we pull the oil out, it allows the magma to come up, fill up the gap where the oil was, and warm up the oceans on top of whatever damage that we're doing. It's my personal belief. I've had this belief for over 10 years um, since the Exxon Valdez and all these other, you know, um, oil spills have been happening. Like, I just, I just feel like when you rip something out of the earth, which I believe is a living entity, um, it's there for a reason. So I feel the same way with crystals. I feel like, like their energy, like their power, like they were there for a reason. And when we realize what the pyramids really are, that they're like electrical conduits, that we have the, we can access power um, in a safe way without causing harm, without explosion uh, technology, which is the type of electricity that we have now, um, we're going to realize that we're going to need these crystals that have been forming for millions of years. Um, and I feel like the people that are doing this, like they know what they do. They know they're ripping the oils out. They know they're taking out the natural resources, the gold, which they started with thousands of years ago when they started coming in, in, um, in hundreds of years ago when they came to the indigenous areas and they took all the gold and then they turned them into slaves to mine the gold for them. So they, they're taking all these natural resources, which allow this planet to thrive, um, and they use them. And, and we're using them now. We're using these crystals to harness this energy, to harness this uh, knowledge. And I feel that there are certain places that are sacred because they probably had crystals beneath them, this energy, this flow that you were able to access and get information, you know, from all over the universe um, if you were there. And here are these companies coming and ripping them out of the ground. Um, maybe it's not energy, but they have a purpose. And I feel like when we find something, we not we, corporations rape it. They rape the earth until there's nothing left. And it, like, it takes millions of years for these things to form. And yes, there are man-made crystals now that they're doing and that they're making in labs, which are quicker and they can sell them for a lot of money, which also helps not mine them. Uh, they don't have the same healing, you know, capabilities, but they're, you know, they're, I'm just saying that there's a way. Um, but it, I don't know. I just, I have to make a video about it. I don't know why. I just felt like it, it should be said, you know, I feel like, you know, they killed the buffalo a long time ago and those were wild, wonderful creatures. And they allowed the native Americans to thrive because all they needed was buffalo. They had food, they had shelter, they had materials that they can make stuff out of. The buffalo were amazing. That's why they're cattle and buffalo who used to roam in herds all over um, the world are in cave paintings because that's all you needed to survive were, were buffalo and water. Um, and these corporations are also ruining our water. Um, they ruin everything that we need to survive. Um, so, and then they create a false need of things that, you know, just anyway. So I just wanted to make this video, um, and I'm going to go now, but I just wanted to share that with you guys.